actual password last year, right? So, in order to be responsible with this, do we can use somebody else's? No. No. Is it is it ever okay to use somebody else's? No. What if it was a password? Can we give our password to somebody that maybe couldn't log in with their password? No. Nope. No, because that is not the right thing to do, right? So we have to be responsible with our passwords and responsible when we are learning on our computers. We have to do the right thing and we have to respect others' property, right? All right. So today we are going to learn from a Canva slide. So we have been talking about different signs in math, the addition sign, or sometimes called what? The plus, plus sign. Equal. Subtraction looks like this, an equal yeah. sign, and then this is a division sign, right? So we are gonna look at the problem 22 plus 36. 22 plus 36. Can somebody tell me what my first step would be? What you got? Add the two and three. Add the two and three, the very first step. What do you think? Try, try, try to add the two and the six. The two and the six, okay. So we can split these. What is this place value called? One. The one's place value, all right. Let's write that up there. What's this? Place value. That's the tens. Okay, so we say six plus two. How do we do that if we don't know what six plus two is? What you got? Alright, from, right, from six. So six is the bigger number, right? So we put six in our head and we count two more, right, Kasher? So six. So where would we put the eight? Right here? No. Oh, right here. Okay. All right. What's our next step? Add the two and three. Add the two and three. Okay. Which one's the bigger number? Three. The three. So we put the three in our heads and we count two more. Three. Four. four five. Five. Am I finished? Yes. What is my answer? Fifty-eight. Fifty-eight. All right. So we can add the ones place value as our first step. We put the larger number in our head and we count to get the final answer. Then we write the answer underneath the ones place value, right? So we are working the problem from the right side to the left side, okay? Because there will be times, Kasher, when this number doesn't stay a five, okay? Because there might be too many in this one. So I want you to make sure that you always do the ones place value first and go that way. What's the next one if there was a number right here? What place value is it? 100. 100, good job. All right, so the third step would be adding the number in the tens place value, and then you write that answer. So you wanna always make sure that you keep these lined up, okay? Ones place value and tens place value. You don't want it to be like written in the middle because then it gets, gets you confused, okay? Another way that we could look at this would be on a number line. So this is an open number line. So we could take our first number, 22, and we can say, you know what? We are gonna add 30, because that's the whole number here, 30. So 22 plus 30, so we're adding 10, adding by 10s, right? 22, 32, 42, 50, 52. Let's draw our own over here. All right, so if we have an open number line, and we know we have 22 plus 36, we can start over here with 22, and we can add 30, okay? 22, 32, 42, 52, all right? What I count by? 10s, we're counting by 10s to add 30, right? Then, how many more do we have to add? We did 22 plus 30. 
what did we not include? Six. Or six right here. So we have to add six more to get our final answer, okay? So 52 is our larger number, and we're gonna count six more. So put 52 in your hand. 52, 53, 54, 58. Is that the same answer we got last time? Yeah. 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 So we got it right, didn't we? Okay. Is this an option that y'all would maybe use in the future? Does that make sense to you? All right. We're going to explore another option. We can add by using our number blocks. All right. Let's do a little review over here, okay? How much is this one worth? One. One. How much is this one worth? Ten. How much is this one? Hundred. How much is this Thousand. one? Thousand. Okay, we're not going to need this one today, are we? Mm -hmm. But I'm going to give you some number blocks to use, and I'm going to let Catcher come up and work with me. All right, remember, you don't need those big blocks, so you can get those out of your way. All right, Cashier, I want you to show me our first number here, 22 in blocks on this board. So 22, which one of these blocks is going to help us get to 22? Those two, so we're not going to use any of these. Show me 22 right here. Put them right here underneath this. 110. Two tens. ones and we are going to add 36 you guys come on you got to get it out too you get 22 out and put it to one side and then you get 36 out and put it to the other side You got 22, now get 36. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh-huh. Make sure you keep them separate. smush them all together okay we're going to put our light blocks together so we're going to move all of our tens together and then move all of our ones together can y'all do that on your own now who can tell me which one we're going to count first what you got one one ones why because um the ones might have more than... If they had more than what? Ten. More than nine, then mm -hmm. we would have to do something else with them, right? Yeah. We ran into that before. Okay, so we're going to count our ones first, Cash. Which one of these represents our ones? All right, count them for me. All right, so we're going to write down our eight right here in the one spot. Then we're going to count our what, Fernando? Tens. Counting our tens. One, two, three, four. All right, we're going to put number five in the ten spot. So, did we get the same answer that we did using the number yes. line? Yes. What about when we did the stack and add? Mm -hmm. Yep. Who can tell me which one is the easiest for you? What's the easiest for you? Number line. Number line? What do you like, Kasha? Repeated addition, that's for multiplication. That's when we are doing multiplication. But this is number blocks. This is a number line, or we can do the stack and add like we did in, in this first scenario. So which one do you think was easiest for you? You still thinking about it? 
We can work on all of them until. So now we are going to sit on down and we are going to go through and make our own problems up, okay? So everybody's going to get their computer out. I'm going to show you how to get, go to Google Slides, okay? Yes. Okay. 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 Okay.